morning, Rosebank Union family. Welcome to our service today. My name is Zwai Zulu. I'm the pastor of discipleship here at Rosebank. I just want to bring your attention uh, just three notices. So the first one is today it's spring. It's a spring service. Uh, and so there'll be uh, no 5 p.m. service today. But straight after the 10 a.m. service, we have uh, food, music, and great festivities in the amphitheater. So please do not rush off. Please join us for that. And if it's your first time back at the church after such a long time, please join us at the Get Connected gazebo. We would love to welcome you. Uh, but yeah, please stay behind. Let's have some great fun. And if you are visiting us uh, for, the first for the first time, please do not rush off as well. Join us at the Get Connected gazebo. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, other pastors will be there. So we'd love to welcome you to Rosebank. The second announcement that I have for us today is well, today we're back doing the book of Daniel after taking three weeks of a break. Uh, because of the kind of content that we'll be getting to uh, in the next couple of chapters in the book of Daniel, we do require extra time uh, to discuss uh, a lot more of these complex subjects. So because of that, we will be having uh, three Wednesdays here at the church and please do come through as a CG. Uh, there'll be great time of teaching from Pastor Richard, but also Q&A and engaging over the kind of content that we'll be dealing with. So please do join us. Uh, and then in fact, along with that, for the three Wednesdays starting next week, I'll be running a CG Connect. Now the CG Connect is a space for people that are looking to get connected into community groups here at Rosebank. So please join me in the beta room from 6 p.m. till 7 p.m. as we get oriented around CGs here at Rosebank. So please join me. If you're not connected and you wanna get connected, you wanna come through to the beta room. Hey, Rosebank Union Church family, I have an exciting announcement for you. On Saturday, the 17th of September, we are joining a whole host of other organizations to clean up the sprays. That's right, Assignment Joburg has brought us to this opportunity to partner with local organizations to clean up the sprays. It's an awesome opportunity for us as Rosebank Union members, but also members of the city, Johannesburg, to partner and clean up the sprays. I don't know about you, I'm a runner and a cyclist. I love the sprays, I use it a lot. And it's a really great opportunity for us as the church to be salt and light in the world and to love God's creation and really care for it. So won't you sign up, won't you partner with us as we come down to do our share in cleaning up the sprays. Our area is gonna be from the pick and pay right down through to the Field and Study Guide Center. That's where I am right now. And I wanna invite you to join us. Come be a part of this assignment Joburg task. Project Refresh is a campaign to renew, revitalize, and refresh our facilities here at Rosebank Union Church. We've been the grateful beneficiaries of the sacrifices made by this community 23 years ago to build this magnificent church home here in Santon. Now it's our turn to invest and ensure its longevity into the next 23 years. We've identified five areas around our church that could do with a little bit of TLC, as well as some improvements to better position us for ministry going forward. One of the features of our wonderful church is the street cafe and the amphitheater. And what we want to do in Project Refresh is connect those two spaces and give them a little bit of a facelift. And so what I'm so excited about this part is that if you know the street cafe well, we will drop the floor, uh, take away the dividing uh, seats and open the space up into the, the, the area that is called the street. And then we won't just stop there. We want to push into what used to be called the welcome center. And if you've been here for a while, you remember that was also where the library was at one point. We'll push through into that space and make a secondary coffee bar where people can go to buy a coffee after the service. What we also are so excited about this space is it creates two spaces for either on a Sunday or during events or during the week for people to come and purchase a coffee. But not only that, we will also install a free tea and coffee station so that anyone and everyone is welcome to please use the space between the street cafe and out into the amphitheater. A big part of us opening it up is to make space for fellowship, whether you've bought a coffee or not. We want people connecting after the service and using the space freely. 
Another great uh, space that we want to do, or well, another thing we want to do in this space is to connect the street cafe into the amphitheater by pushing through those windows and creating folding stacking doors that can be opened up nice and wide for people to get out into the amphitheater. And in this new amphitheater, you'll find it nice and tiered, a great space for people to sit and connect after the service, or even for our spring day services or our outdoor sunrise services on Easter Sunday, uh, just creating more opportunity for us to gather as a church outside and use the wonderful facilities that we have. And as you go out into this new and improved amphitheater, you will find a brand new jungle gym designed for the children of our church to have a load of fun. And so while parents are connecting after a service, their kids can go and have a great time in a jungle gym that rivals all jungle gyms. And all of this is done so that people can connect and have better fellowship after the service. We believe that the Word of God changes lives. And so what we would love to see happening is that after a church, after a church service, our congregants are gathering and talking about how God has spoken to them through His Word. And we really believe that by creating this space, we will see a wonderful growth in the fellowship of our church. And that's what Project Refresh is all about in our amphitheater and street cafe. Every family has a house that becomes its home. In the same way, this church family has a place of worship that becomes a home for this household of God. Help us renovate this home, in so doing not just for our own benefit, but for the benefit of generations to come. To find out more about Project Refresh, head to ruc.org.za forward slash refresh, or watch the replay of our town hall meeting. Please sit back and just uh, soak in uh, God's Word as we dive into the book of Daniel. Enjoy the service. Cheers.